Hi, we're two of the co-founders of Bahtinet. I'm Maryam El Halabi, a mechanical engineering student. I'm Yara Yusri. I'm an architecture student. I am the communication person. Well, I'm responsible for everything communication-wise. Um, we came up with the idea when we visited El Bahtini village uh, in Ismailiya city here in Egypt. The community is shrinking due to the lack of fishing materials. Uh, we uh, submitted the, the idea which was using banana fibers in uh, creating fishing nets to revive the fishing community of El Bahtini. I think the main challenge we're facing is that we're four engineering students with zero business background, so we're still learning a lot about how to take a business approach to our project, and this was the main challenge that we faced together. I believe that another challenge that we faced in the project was reaching out to the community. At first, we thought that this community would be rigid and not like somehow accepting to change. However, we tried reaching to community anchors in order to help us uh, to reach our idea to people of this village. This is possible due to the huge amount of banana waste that we have in Egypt and it's a burden for farmers to keep that banana waste in their landfill. So we're collecting these banana fibers and there's a, a company in Egypt that extracts the banana fibers from the stems of the trees and we'll be using that uh, in order to create our fishing nets. We have a proof of concept, it's not a prototype, it's just a proof of concept. It was uh, the initial interaction of uh, an actual fisherman with the banana fibers to try to make knots with it. The material still uh, will be developed and uh, will be stronger in order to create our final uh, product. Uh, I think, yes, our project could go global. Uh, this is part of our intention. This is why we chose our location, Bahtini uh, in Ismailia, close to the Suez Canal, which will help us in exporting on our product one day.